Hey guys, welcome to another Double Dash Design tutorial. Today we are using this um, design for inspiration for our tutorial. And I'm pretty much going to keep it the same, except of course I'm gonna change the word to my brand message. Um, you can use a keyword from your brand message to create this statement. See, um, I'm also going to add just a little bit of something new to it you'll see towards the end of the video but first i'm going to start with a blank page um this is a 2000 pixels by 2000 pixel size then i'm going to go ahead and add a text box i'm going to worry about resizing it later but i'm going to type in the word growth and if you select the text box and choose this um the drop down fonts the drop down box for the fonts i'm going to use anton which is one of my favorite um sans serif fonts it is bold and narrow that's why i like it it doesn't take up too much space i'm going to center it and worry about changing the colors and the size later so once i do that i'm going to select the text box i'm sorry select the word growth and then i'm going to copy and paste it to create another text box. So I want to do six um, text boxes because there are six letters. So it just depends on which word you choose. Just going to select all three text boxes, drag, it, drag my mouse across all three, right click on copy, and then right click, select paste. It's gonna ask me for permission to paste. And then I'm just going to make sure the spacing looks good. If you highlight all of it, um, you can see that the purple lines pop up. That tells me that it is centered to the square canvas. All right, so the other thing you can do is group all of your text boxes together. Click on these three dots and position it to center and middle and it will just center everything for you but right now i'm just going to ungroup so that i can change the color of the, these letters so for the top row i'm going to change i'm going to keep the g black and then i'm going to change the rest of the letters to white so just highlight that click on the letter a with the rainbow bar and then change it to the color that you want and then you can see you, you know, that it's white, the background's white, so you can change the background so that you can view your white design. Um, select the background that I was just showing you that the blue box shows up. Click on this square rainbow, um, this rainbow square at the top, and then just choose any background color. And then I'm going to move down to the next row, and I'm going to do one less letter <laughs> white and then as you can see um i'm just gonna move down and do the same with the next row decreasing it by one letter at a time and then for the last one i'm just gonna change the h and leave the last row all black all right so that's pretty much it for the design if you are happy with that you can leave it alone um, you can add your own variations to it if you'd like so what I um, for example what I'm gonna do is I'm going to change the bottom row so if you can see this word growth um, I'm gonna go ahead and change it to a script font so if you've been following our page and our channel you know that we like to pair um, print fonts or regular fonts with a script font you can just go through the font list that you have on canva or your um, fonts that you have downloaded and just choose a script font that you like so i'm just resizing it right now and then just click it on some fonts Brittany is a pretty popular font we like it and i think what i want to do is Mm, probably move it to the top 
um, but you see how it's blending in with the black because it's black on black. You can add a text effect. So let me move it up. I'm going to change the word growth to personal so it can say personal growth. And um, let's see, resize it to the size that I like. And then once you're happy with the size, make sure that it's centered, then you can add the effects. So you can play around with the lift. Lift just adds like, um, like a smoky shadow behind it. Um, the other thing you can do is duplicate it and change it to white. Then just make sure that you position it behind the black so that it really pops. Or, I mean, I like how that looks too, but I'm going to move it behind the black. Um, yeah, I'm not, li I'm not like that. So what I'm going to do, let me delete that white layer and change the effects to shadow. The shadow effects is basically what I just tried to do. Um, I'm going to change the shadow itself to white and the text, I'm gonna keep it black. So if you select that, you select shadow under effects, there's a um, colored box right there. You can see on the bottom, you can change the color, you can change the transparency to either solid or more transparent using the slider bar. If you can look at this shadow letters you can see what i'm talking about you can change the blur you can adjust the direction of the shadow and you can also change how much it is offset so i don't want it to be showing too much so I've, i'm pretty happy with how that is um just playing around with the size making sure it's how i want it to be I am, I think, I think I'm going to make it a little bigger and then position it to the middle. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to leave it alone. The next thing I'm going to do is just select everything. Um, and then group it. And then just resize it to the canvas. And then once I'm happy with my design, I'm going to put it on a mock-up. So you add a page. We have mock-ups downloaded to our Canva. Um, a lot of people ask us where we get our mock-ups from. We do purchase it from Etsy. So you guys go ahead and support other small business owners and purchase those mock-ups from them. Um, you can you know, obviously make your own or use the ones on Canva if you'd like. We would normally choose like a holiday themed one, but I think today I'm going to just go with dark pink, resize it. Um, you definitely could, you know, put this on a red crew neck just because it's Christmas time, but I'm just going to do this pink shirt. Uh, make sure that you resize the design to how you would actually want it to look on a, an actual shirt because people are going to purchase based on what they see on the mock-up, okay? So make sure your even your angle is accurate because you can see the shirt is a little um, sideways. It's not sideways, but you know, it's not perfectly straight. So make sure that your design aligns to how the shirt is laying in your mock-up. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this design. If you're happy with how your mock-up looks, then you're all finished. You can just download it. Um, I'm going to adjust it just a little bit more. And that is pretty much it. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful. As you can see, you can just take your brand message, throw, um, create this super easy statement T, and put on a mock-up. Uh, you can do a pre-sale, see if people will want it before you actually create the design or order transfers or anything like that. So just let us know. Give us your feedback. If you decide to try it, make sure you tag us and credit Double Dutch DS. 
Um, and so next time, see you guys.